Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. <sighs> so, this video is going to be a very different video than what I've done before. Um, I'm going to do an Animal Crossing's island tour, which I've been wanting to do for a really long time. Um, I've been obsessed with Animal Crossing's lately. I got it back in like November, I think. And I was constantly watching Animal Crossing videos and I finally convinced myself to get it. A little later, I realized that these Animal Crossing videos do pretty well on YouTube. And I'm like, oh, I can show. I'll do an island tour of my island. I bought a capture card. I bought a microphone. I bought all this stuff to like stream my Switch. Um, I even like, look at this microphone. So fancy. I buy all this stuff. And it turns out you cannot stream off a Switch light, which is what I have. You can stream on a normal Switch, but not the light. I'm thinking of returning the capture card unless you guys want to see me play other games that I can use the capture card with. Um, the only other games I play are The Sims 4 and Mobile Legends on my iPad, which both me and Christian play that together. I can screen record that. Uh, we do also have an Xbox. We have Call of Duty. I don't know. I don't know if anyone cares to see any of that stuff. I know Animal Crossing is very different from all those games, but I still wanted to make the video. I've seen other people do island tours and they're using a Switch Lite. So it turns out um, you can screen record on your Switch Lite for about 30 seconds. <laughs> so I literally went and showed my entire island in 30 second increments and then put them together. So this video was a lot harder to edit than I thought it was going to be. This was a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. So hopefully um, it does all right. Um, but yeah, I would, thought I would show you my island on Animal Crossing. Now to remind you, I am very new to Animal Crossing. It's like I said, I got it in like October, November time. I remember my cousin bringing over Animal Crossings on their like Nintendo DS back in like elementary school, middle school, and they left it at my house. And I remember tried playing it, but it was always like nighttime when I would play it, and I just didn't understand what I was supposed to be doing. Like it was dark, nothing was happening. But I'm older, and New Horizons came out, and I've been constantly watching videos about it. Um, I got it. So I thought I'd show you what I have so far on my island, because I'm pretty proud of the spots that I've made so far. Again, nowhere near done. Maybe if you guys like this video, I will do another tour when I'm done with it. I also think my island will look uh, 10 times better when there's no snow on the ground anymore. Um, I don't even like the snow to begin with. I don't think it looks good. Once there's grass, because I, I have a lot of like path patterns that are like leaves, which don't make sense when there's snow. So it's gonna look a lot better. Um, I kind of like, I really liked the whole like, cottage core, forest core, um, looks. I liked the messier look, um, the cluttered look instead of like the non-cluttered look where it just kind of looks too plain. I didn't, I found myself not liking those videos, but I don't like it where you can't, like it's hard to walk because it's so cluttered. So I kind of like went for the cluttered look, but still able to like walk around. Okay. So welcome to my island. This is my little character. Look how cute her outfit is, by the way. So, so cute. So here's my entrance. Mm -hmm. Um, um, apparently it's a big deal on what color your airport is. I think everybody likes the blue or the orange. Maybe it's blue. Anyways, I got a green one. Whatever. It'll just match my foresty look. Um, I see Animal Crossings and everyone wants to look at the map. So here's my map. Um, here's all my villagers. I want to quick look at them. I started off with Cat and I think his name is like Lehman, Lyman. There it is, I don't know how to pronounce that. Those are my two first villagers, I still have them. Um, I have a few new villagers right now. I'm trying to find Molly the duck, um, I cannot find her. So then I just let it autofill when people move out and that's why I've got like that rooster I wouldn't have normally picked. But yeah, so then you walk through and this is my entrance. This is kind of the first thing I started with when I like really got into decorating. Um, I really wanted to do a lot of like terraforming and waterfalls. Um, I really like it. I need to get rid of some of the flowers. There are way too many flowers and I ended up really liking the white flowers. Uh, but yeah, you come this way, there's some weird mushroom thing there. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it there. I might go put it in my forest in the back. So yeah, you walk this way and then if you go down, um, you go to my house, which is on the beach, because in real life, I've always wanted my house on the beach, and since I can't have that right now, I put my Animal Crossing's house on the beach. So this is my house. This is like the second area I kind of 
I think we were at the airport <laughs> and I was bored waiting for our flight and so I made this. But I had to, did you see the little like Spongebob and Patrick uh, design on the beach right over there to the left? And my little dog. But yeah, so if you go back this way and my resident services is up at the top right here. I hate that you can't put anything on that little patio. But I wanted to make this look like a little downtown area. So back here is Able Sisters, we'll, we'll come back to it. But here is my Nook's Cranny. Again, you see the leaf patterns. It'll look way better. Ooh, there's a balloon. We're gonna have to ignore that. Um, see, I have the leaf patterns, which would look so much better if it was grassy. I do not know what Diana's doing back there, <laughs> staring at the waterfall. I don't think you can fish back there. Here's my Able Sisters. Um, I tried to get a lot of like the clothing items, so like there's a wash, there's that sewing kit, which I always find open. I think my villager is just like opening it all the time, um, and then I have to go close it. Okay, then you walk this way, and this is Kat's house, which she's my first villager, so this is where her house is, not in the normal neighborhood. I'm going to turn this into like a little cafe area. Um, I just started working on this, so that's why it's not even done. But. So then you come back this way, and then we're gonna go to my little neighborhood, which after my two first villagers, I kind of started putting everybody together. Um, they're, I'm, they're not even, the houses are not even, but I do not wanna pay um, that much to fix them. Here's my little entrance to my neighborhood. I think it's super cute. And then you walk this way. You'll see one house is super uneven with the rest, but I don't wanna pay that much just to move it up a little bit. I try to give them all their own little yards. When I first started, I didn't really know what I was doing and I kind of put them way too close together. Um, I would have spread them out a little bit more to give them a bigger yard. Um, here's Sherb's house. Sherb is my absolute favorite villager. Um, I think he's just so cute and he always compliments me and he always tells me like I have an adorable big head. He's just so cute. He always gives me gifts. I think he's a lazy villager. I'm not, I remember, I'm a, I'm totally a uh, Animal Crossing's newbie so i don't really know like i don't know all the villagers i don't know which one's which but i like sherb i've always liked him i can't even get rid of my first two villagers because they just have that special place in my heart um so you walk this way and then up here is a brand new area i just made this pathing and there's a secret uh library down there and then you come up here, which I'm really proud of this part. I made the giant lake. I got the idea off of, I think, Froggy Crossings on YouTube. Um, I just think it's so pretty. And then you walk this way, and this is, I think, the area I'm the most proud of, is behind the lake is this little, like, foresty area. Very cluttered. Um, I still try to make it easy to, like, walk back there. There's, don't ignore, just ignore all the weeds. Um, I need to clean all that up. I don't know if I should because it's a forest. Like, it's not supposed to be cleaned up. But anyways, back here is my secret beach. At some point, I'm going to put a staircase going down to the secret beach. And then I'll probably decorate it um, with something. I don't know yet. That's the last thing on my list. Actually, my house. My house, the inside of my house is the last thing on my list. Over here is my pumpkin farm, which I've kept since October. I guess I did start playing in October because I was around for Halloween. Um, a little apple cider station. I just think it's so cute. I couldn't get rid of it. Um, you can still have pumpkins. It's just Animal Crossing. It's like back here is like the secret entrance to the secret beach. I'm going to make it look a little nicer at some point. Um, but this is what I got so far. I kind of just put that path in for now just so you guys could see. Um, I'll probably get rid of it at some point. And then over here is where my museum is. And in front of my museum is this like little study area which I think is super cute. I did work really hard on this one. Um, again, we, we were flying to Wisconsin and we had a, like a five hour delay or a five hour layover. And so I just made the pumpkin patch and the study. But it's right underneath the museum. Um, I haven't done anything with the museum yet. That's on my list. And then over here is just overgrown flowers. I have a lot of mums that are overgrown and I do not like them for some reason. Like look at them all. I don't like the moms. I'm working on getting rid of them. It's just so annoying, like picking them up or digging them up and then having to go sell them and then digging them up and coming back and forth because you just don't have enough room in your pockets. But yeah, over here 
this is my newest thing I just started is my secret little library that I'm making. I've been wanting to make this. I just didn't have the DIY for the bookshelf. Um, I finally got it. So I gotta collect some books and make more bookshelves. Yeah, and then you come back this way through the neighborhood. Um, where am I going? Okay, so you come back this way through the neighborhood and then so like here's my uh, entrance again. So right to the left of my entrance, I have like my garden, which this was like the beginning of me trying to be fancy on Animal Crossings. Um, I also just wanted to kind of get dip, like hybrid flowers, but I don't know, I don't like it anymore. I'm probably going to fix it at some point once I like fix the rest of my island, do something better with the garden um, and get rid of all the mums because I just don't like them. If you go past my entrance again, um, to the right of my entrance is this little area behind my house, which I was getting so sick of having to go like to my storage to get things. Like I always have extra wood or extra uh, like iron or something. And if I wanted to build something, I hated going to my house to go in my storage, get the thing, bring it out. So I kind of just put all my materials in this little like workshop area. And then I can just like easily grab it. I think I'm gonna get more stalls and like more little tables so, so they're not just all on the ground like that. But like the fencing's there too and the customizer's there. So it makes it a lot faster. And I actually thought of this idea by myself. Like I didn't see any inspiration. I've never seen anybody do this. I'm sure somebody does this. Um, but I thought about that all by myself. I was pretty proud. So down here, my beaches aren't really like done yet, but down here's all the festival stuff. I'm probably gonna add it to like You'll see it in, in a little bit. Um, oh, watch this. I really like this like dance thing. I thought we would only have it for the festival, but it's, <laughs> it's so funny. I think I'll add it to this next part over here. Um, I'm making like a little beach area. So there'll be a surf shop, a like layout area where you can land the beach um, in like a beach cafe. So like there's my where my surf shop will be. And then obviously I'm just collecting all my stuff that I would want on the beach. So I really haven't done anything. And I'll probably maybe add the festival items here. Because it kind of it kind of looks beachy. So yeah, I just I'm kind of collecting it all and I'm gonna make it like very tropical uh, a tropical forest over here. Oh my god, I have so many weeds. I need to I just don't come over here very often, so <laughs> it's just overgrown with weeds. So then Behind here, I'm gonna go this way, right at my campsite. So we're gonna go through an area that I still, I haven't touched all of this. I haven't done anything with that yet. Um, so back here is my little campsite, which I think is super cute. Um, I made like a little washing station on the rocks, which I got inspiration off of Pinterest. I actually haven't been back here in a while too. Ooh, I had a different pattern for that blanket. Um, and I didn't realize that if you replace the pattern, it replaces everything you, like wherever you put it. Um, it used to be this cute like blanket pattern, but obviously I screwed that up. That's my flag now. This is my little orchard. I picked off all the fruit um, and sold it for to get some bells. I need to pay off my loans. But yeah, I have the tangled flag because, and then I have like, when I talk to a villager or something, my little island tune is, one of the Tangled songs. So yeah, back, back through here. I think I showed everything. Back in the day, when I first started, I put I put my Nook's Cranny right by Resident Services. Um, and then, and then like right next to Resident Services, I had Abel's and then I had Cat's House, which I turned into a cafe. So I just had all my buildings lined up. So that's why I, I did pay to move Abel's sister behind Cat's and Nook's cranny behind the resident surfaces. Just kind of spread them out a little bit. It was kind of weird. That is on my island so far. Definitely have a lot to do still. Um, I am very proud of what I've done so far. But yeah, hope you liked my island. Please let me know if you liked this kind of video. I will update again. Um, I When I got the capture card, I really wanted to do like other island tours, like go to dream addresses and stuff and like maybe do some build designs. 
I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do any of that because it's kind of annoying to have to do the 30 second screenshots or screen recordings and then put them all together. Even recording this, like I missed some sections. It's not very, it's not like, I didn't cut this up very much. It's all cut up because of the screen recording. But yeah, let me know what you think. Sorry, this is, this is more of like a low, a little chill video. Um, I've always wanted to make this video. I'm obsessed with watching these videos. I find them relaxing too, just to like listen to while I'm working. Um, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Um, give this video a like and comment below. Um, comment below what else you would like to see from me. But yeah, that's it. Bye guys.